Yes. We're going to move along in a timely manner. <laughs> well, let's get moving. Okay, we'll come back to order. Uh, now we're going to start the discussion on your squash section. Let me say this uh, before we actually staff gets into everything. Um, we did have a successful campaign, as everybody's aware of, with the squash. Um, it was a resounding win, 69.99, I believe, was the final, final number percentage. Um, but uh, I think that's a credit to the commission, uh, to the community as well, working on the list, trying to get a, a, making sure that that list was consistent with a needs more so than wants. Um, and uh, I think that we knew that that was our mandate and uh, accomplished that. I feel real good about the list that's out there that we uh, that the uh, voters approved. Very appreciative of uh, Suzanne Prince and the steering committee and the work that they did on educating the citizens of Lowndes County about SPLOS. And I think as much as anything, that was really, really key, was uh, the education portion of it. Uh, and then letting people actually make up their own mind about uh, whether they want to support it or not, and I think it's 69.99%. Um, I think that uh, went very well. All right. Mr. Chairman, I noticed um, yesterday there's still some uh, some SPLOST campaign signs of the big banners. I've noticed that right. we could reach out to the committee and ask them to get those signs pulled up Absolutely. sooner rather than later. Yeah. I appreciate it. We can do that. I, I'll, I believe that they had... Uh, Someone putting those signs out for them, and then they're going to pick those signs. Okay. Picked up a truck. All right. In front of you, your first part of your your information, of course, is the resolution. Um, the resolution, of course, as far as the unincorporated areas of Lambs County, gives you a breakdown um, of the revenue and how the uh, the revenue was going to be spent in. Um, to get some of these things accomplished that we were trying to get done. Most everybody should be aware of what that is. Um, the county has $62,415,000 projected. That's based on $150 million projected income over the six year cycle. So um, hopefully that will, uh, that will hold up and we will be able to complete all of the things that's on the uh, on the list over the six year period. Okay, we'll start with engineering. Joe, you want to? Mr. Chairman, I have one question. Okay. I came to mind the other day. I noticed in our budget that we said we were going to, I was going to say how we were not going to spend any splash until we, splash seven had passed. So we currently have splash six. Uh, funds budgeted for this mm -hmm. year, and, and I and um, I just wasn't. I just trying to get a balance of which type of sections uh, set of versus the overall amount of departments and the, the amount that are within those departments that's left or projects that's left. So I know some of the projects that I saw on the list that Joe gave me uh, were listed on previous slides. Mm -hmm. Well. I'll let Mr. Pritchard explain most of it, but my understanding is FLOS 6 projects are still specific to FLOS 6, and we still have revenue coming in mm -hmm. that will come in until December 31st when FLOS 6 project will <coughs> taxes will cease at that point. And so whatever projects, if there's funding that's still in the account that's left, whether it be for any of the cities or for the county itself, those funds and those projects will still have time to completely remember in your budget process we we I think we closed out splash five but just recently done that five just had a, a hair of hair money in it on the, uh, on the budget yes, five, uh, five has money in it and, and then six had about 15 years. million I think for this year the remaining projects for the splash are uh, primarily the funds for the hospital uh, for the parking deck and also funds for parks and rec. Uh, none of those monies have been forwarded to those two particular agencies. Um, 
I will say that obviously the monies are lower than anticipated in both of those categories. Um, we get a monthly update from Harrison on the expectation uh, where we are with that actual calculation and the anticipation uh, of the year end. So I've made both the hospital and Parks and Rec aware, uh, but they realize that they will not receive those funds uh, until the, probably in uh, February, once that's, uh, those last funds come in, Stephanie, probably last February, 1st of March, that will be when those numbers are tallied and the remainder uh, <coughs> closed out and sent. So those are the two primary numbers. I, guess the I think it's also portion. important to, to remember also that SPLOS, SPLOS 6 uh, was budgeted at $180 million and it came in around, or we anticipated to come in around 150 mm -hmm. And that's the reason why SPLOS 7 was adjusted down to $150 million projected income. So there's really $30 million of projected revenue on SPLOS 6 and projects that we were hoping to be able to get completed that's just shortage on funds. We just didn't have the revenue coming in. I'm just thinking along the line, we had, we, I guess we projected uh, 15 million and 18 million million from six, and then from splash five, I think it was 1.8 million, and that was based on the new economy that's somewhat driving at that beginning of July. And so I just wanted to try to get an idea of where we stand in with you. Different departments versus the overall uh, amount. Um, well, we, that's something we possibly can get later. What you're, uh, okay, so what you're looking at in the budget is at the point in time where we're putting that budget together, how much money is left in each of those slots? Because what you have is you collect those all up front, but those projects don't happen in that six year period. They may happen over a period of 10 years. Um, and you have some um, municipal money. not necessarily what's coming in and going out. What you see is, is what is left to be spent almost. So that, that's not exactly lining up with, with what you're looking at. So by us not spending anything from Splash 6 just thus far means that we, we, we just wait until Splash 7 got passed. And now we're going to reevaluate, I guess, whatever departments need to, to have fun and left with them. Mm -hmm. no. Splash 6, the only thing you have left to spend in Splash 6 is there was the money for the parking deck, there was some parks and recs money, and then there was the final debt service payments on that. And that, that's what was budgeted. I just seen 15 million and thought that's a lot of money from July to next July. And, and by us not spending any splash money between since July just, just passed, that you know, there's probably some other reasons. That's your debt service payment. Those, those two projects and the debt service payments, and that's, that's pretty much all that was left in the Yeah, all of those things were saved till the end. Debt service, saved until the bills right, right. And that's the reason, and that's the reason why <coughs> the, uh, the, the, the hospital and parts and rec, uh, their understanding was, was that they would get revenue, provided revenue was there at the end. And that's the reason why their number is actually shorted, shorter than what they had hoped to get. Yeah. And so that's when that's when you show it as an expenditure, right? I just I just see it as revenue. Well, because in the budget, because you have six months of collections in the fiscal year that you're budgeting for, because your fiscal year starts in July, so you still have those July through December collections, um, and that is the county's portion as well as all the other cities' portion, because that all comes in as revenue and then goes back out. Um, to each one of those cities as an expenditure. All of it comes to the county because it's a county tax, and then it goes back out to the cities whenever they need the revenue for their projects. Well, to, the, to the other well, cities and then the versus cities. departments that are that, that's supposed to get it, I guess. Right. The other cities get 
it fares within 10 days of us getting it. Um, and then what's left in there is those projects that the county is responsible for. So again, the, the what's left in there for the county to, to pay out is that debt service and the parking deck and the parks and recs. The help. Commissioner Marshall, are you I, I think I think are you asking about county departments, the 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 public works department, things like that? I think what they're telling you is there is no more money for that. It's block six. The no, only or money five. Yeah. or five. And so that I think is that what you're asking? You're asking yeah. if there's any yeah. money left but, in any of the SPLOS for for any of the prisoners. Because I basically saw revenues of SPLOSH okay. for uh, 18 million approximately in there. And I was like, that's money that's coming in. And I was thinking, but I didn't know exactly uh, what it was allocated for. Okay. And I know we uh, also in the summer it said that we were not going to do it extended until SPLOSH 7 was passed. That's because I think, if I remember the conversations correctly, Commissioner, what we were saying was there are things that we need to do, um, but we're going to wait and see if SPLOS passes before we allocate general fund resources for it. Is that what you're referring yes. to? Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments? 